Let me take you to our next story, which is about Bridget Achieng. We all know her, former Nairobi Diaries um, reality star. And she came out to accuse um, Apoko. I haven't forgotten his name. <laughs> Ringtone. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. She came out to accuse Ringtone of raping her seven years ago. She said now is when she finally has the strength to talk about it. And this is what she, has, she had to say. We have the video. I've been put on a corner just because I'm coming from the ghetto. I go to visit a man who says, oh, Bridget, I will, that time I was in choir, I was in Winner's Chapel. This is way back. This is way back in like 2014 or 2013. I don't remember. But that's, about, that, that's just about that time. I went to meet this man called Rington, and I'm going to put it out here. And it's not for clouds, fuck clouds, because most of the time you don't see me even posting a picture. I'm a, I'm a busy woman. I'm 32 years old woman. I don't have time for that. You cannot say that because I wore a short dress, it's okay for me to be red. Just because Bridget wore a top that is showing cleavage, it's okay for Bridget to be raped. No. And I, I put my life in Rington's arm, thinking this man is going to help my career as, an, as a musician and as a choir girl, that when I go and, and visit him, he told me, come to my house. And this man... Yes, and of course, uh, Rington always had a reply. I did not bother watching it. <laughs> because there's usually a lot of nonsense before it gets to the point. So I don't know how true these claims are. But, you know, we need to stop that thing of, like, accusing the victim. And if she was raped, we need to, like, believe her and something should be done. Yeah. This is a tough one mm. for me. I know. <laughs> same way, the same was up Because group. I'm, I'm sure like, people wow. are watching and saying, okay, so why did you wait seven years mm -hmm. to come out and say this? Yeah. Um, so there's always that. Uh, and, and this is just with any rape uh, allegations yeah. where people are like, well, who do we believe and what evidence is there? So it's always a slippery slope. Mm -hmm. Bridget is a public figure yeah. and she's quite outspoken. Mm -hmm. So people are wondering, well, well, why did she wait this long? So there are a lot of questions, mm -hmm. but then... You look at Ringtone's, you know, <laughs> who he is, yeah, you know? his reputation, yeah. and you're like... I, you wouldn't I mean, put it past him, I wouldn't you know? put it past yeah, him. Exactly. So I, I don't even know, you know, where I stand on this Have one. you Weinstein's um, victims didn't come out until 20 years later, you know? Like, yeah. it's yeah. not about the time. It's about when, when you dealt with it and when you decided to talk about mm, it. Yeah. Mm. So I'm like, yo, it, yo, the, the story yo. unfolds. We'll keep you updated. Don't trust anyone who says they're serving the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I'm going to say. You know, yeah. every man for himself and God for us all. Amen. But I'm like, in all honesty, I, I'm sorry to say this, but there are too many fake Christians out there. Mm -hmm. There are too many fake people in the name of, you know, we are Christians. Mm -hmm. Just for clout, just for money, just for you get. Like, there's so many things. So at the end of the day, as much as maybe you could be naive, maybe you want someone to help you in your career and what, be very careful about the people that you trust. Even the devil has altars. Mm. The devil has That's true. a choir. Yeah. The devil has pastors mm -hmm. and pastresses. Come on, not on it, or pastresses, they could care less. But it has, the devil has everything. The, the same things in your mungu wanaiza kukupatia. Devo pia akona nini yake nyata kupatia. Na zake zaka very easy and very nice and very, zeto je, accessible. Hey! Na kwambia, pray, believe, and wait, wait on God. You made a great point about young women believing people who can give them a career. Nobody can give you a career but your talent and the Lord. Okay? And how hard it is that you work. These tupanya roots, people are trying to use these days. Do not but you forget them. how vulnerable these women who didn't grow up in Nairobi are. We, we know as we grew up in Nairobi, like, I may can't. Yeah. But these women who grew up, like, in the village, it's very easy for them to be taken advantage and of. And that's why know? I'm saying yeah. it's important for us to speak about this yes. and, and to warn people that mm -hmm. there are so many people. And it's not just in entertainment or music. It's yeah. in whatever industry. Yes. Yeah. You've just graduated and somebody comes and tells you, by the way, yeah, I can hook you, you up with that. Yeah. 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 I'm telling you, someone can sell you the moon and the sun. <laughs> exactly. Like, when you know what you're doing, you're doing choma yeah. lakini watakuzia mm. watakupigia kwa mbebe nye itawak mbebe nye itakuletea ni kufanyi delivery mbaka kwa pasta <laughs> 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 lango yako but you know that's why I say like at the end of the day I feel like um, 
it's better you to try and do things a different way before yeah. but like i say unajua say next vanga vitu kai zina kumbuka pia unajua kuna tu watu ni watu kuna watu tu wameamua kama ni mbaya ni mbaya wameamua kama ni shortcut hiyo ndo sisi tunaenda kama ni kupata hii fame teke teke hiyo ndo sisi tunaenda so depending with the kind of it's, your character will determine yeah, the road the roads and the routes that you use um, i remember when i just moved back from the states and i was trying mm. to get a job in media my first job like 10 years ago and uh, somebody told me i can get you a job at this media house so i'm going to get you a job with the gm but now when you go do not wear undergarments oh wow. my god i kid you not and this person was supposed to be like a friend of a relative <sighs> I didn't go. Oh, of course okay? not. But like, you know, I look at that story 10 years later and I'm like I still yeah. made it on my own, yeah. Yeah. you know, without having those 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 types of shortcuts That's and true. I was smart enough to know that then, but it just didn't feel right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah, your exactly. intuition is like, "Ay, but for what on a patient intuition lakini kul they careless." Yeah. Mtu wangu mimi kitu yenye nataka hiyo ndo kitu yenye naenda kupata and that's the sad reality you get. Sometimes you find yourself in situations just because you feel like bila hii siezi ku make it, you get. But sometimes you need to understand even without it there could be another way there's another Unana, plan for you yeah. there's something you can do i think you don't even have to get it then unaweza mm. okay let me put a pause on this let me go and play something else mm. you get then yeah. i'll come back and see whether i can continue yeah. with this yeah. like still lazima don't force things sometimes because when you try to fo- when you try or tend to force things you put yourself in very difficult situations you put yourself in very funny funny situations mm-hmm. then you na pata by then unakuja kusema oh nilifanywa nilifanywa but ukirudi back ukijanga wewe mwenyewe uko like but then all honesty ninge avoid it yote yeah. ninge acha tu tamaa tamaa ni mbaya na like i said the devil is at work but for for, for Bridget i hope <laughs> the real story yeah, comes story, out yeah. you yeah. know eventually we hear more details and uh, maybe and the truth maybe we, yeah, yeah we can have more to talk about it then yeah. uh we're talking about <laughs> christians <laughs> are we still there we are still there well jesus uh, is rising is dying boy. on friday and rising on sunday the african university mm. there's a document going around on social media that is saying that they are not allowing their students to intern or work for corporations that sell alcohol uh, you know cigarettes like ABL British Tobacco and they said other such Uh, organizations that they're not allowing them to intern for those types of organizations because it's a Christian university and they have their standards. Listen, first of all, when I read this story, I was in shock. I I'm a, I went to a Christian uh, university, a Christian high school, everything mm-hmm. like that. But by the time someone is an adult yeah. over 18, yeah. you can't how ma- how far do you police them? I'm an alumni of that work? school. It's very true. Is it very yeah, true? Yeah, Wendy, the one who did TPF, the minute she did it, she was told yeah. you can no longer go to this school. No who way. Who being told those things? Yeah, mm. I went to that school for four good years, so wow. I know how serious it is. Yeah. Wow. That's shocking. You weren't even allowed to go with like more than two piercings. It was a weird one. It was oh so God. weird. Yeah, actually, I don't know what I think that. I know it's, they do have rules. Yeah. Because I had some friends who were studying school, there yeah. and then they had like these strict rules. Mm. You're like... Hey, but about that job, you know, like, do you know yeah. the unemployment rates for people yeah, coming so out of high, campus exactly. right now? Yeah. And you're looking at your future, like you're an adult and you're making your own decisions mm-hmm. for exactly. your future. I don't, I don't believe in this. Exactly. Just because you, you're selling alcohol doesn't mean you have to drink it. You know what I mean? Exactly. If you're even working like the marketing, you exactly. never even have to see the alcohol. <laughs> I always own Nazarene. <laughs> Let me tell but you, I'm that's why. This, yeah. When it comes to God, you can't be lukewarm. You get. Yeah. So I don't understand where Africa Nazarene, the, the university is coming from. Mm-hmm. you know being a christian university mm-hmm. probably what they're aiming or looking at is basically mm-hmm. like having you know christian christians and you know young christians come in and studying over there mm-hmm. so you know the people who agree with the values and the virtues that they teach and what they advocate for mm-hmm. and they do respect that honestly speaking by the way nige kwana juzi bitu when i was a bit younger <laughs> But like 90%, 90%, 90%, I would have done that. My life would have been very 90% different. 90% right are now. just going to school so they go to school. Exactly. Money. How, how long? long? But how you get now. This is a big ask someone. How long yeah. when yeah. they graduate they're making someone. their own decisions. Exactly. exactly. You can't so let someone. them make their own but, decisions. But I, I I feel like I think they, they have, have to do something about their it. Their agenda is amazing. Yeah. You know, for someone who's grown up maybe um this is a road you want to pursue and you're just not sure, you know, going to campus the temptations because you know, you meet all sorts of people. So you have a safe space you can come into. You get it's a Christian university whatever you believe in and all that is the same thing but the temptations are there but the temptations, the temptations ah. are there but like two times worse have you ever exactly. seen like the child of a strict parent Hello. they are worse than <laughs> everyone else who has ever been yeah. given freedom you know what i mean yeah. but so you know like i said policing like i said the devil is everywhere mm-hmm. but remember jesus is king moving on <laughs>